Today I'm going to introduce the concept of linearity and show you how we can use linearity to make our lives easier when we're solving circuits. Um, so what exactly is the concept of linearity? So recall that um, a linear function can be written in the form y equals mx plus b, right? So if we um, consider the y-intercept b to be 0, we can write this as um, y in function notation um, as a function of x is equal to m times x, right? So that's a, a basic linear function. So the parts of this are, um, this part here is the output. The x here is the input, and it also appears there. And then this m, this is, um, is going to be a constant scale factor. Okay, so, so you guys know this already. If we were to plot y as a function of x, depending on what our m value is, is going to tell us how steep our, our line will be. So how do we relate this and how do we use this for um, circuit analysis? So the concept is, if I'm going to draw a parallel between um, this linear equation that we've seen before in our early math classes and for circuits, um, how it's going to work is we're going to have a V out and we want to write V out as a function of some constant K times V in. Okay. So um, what are all these pieces? This V out is going to be, here I'll write it like this, where V out is um, the voltage drop across some output resistor. Okay, so we get to designate what this output resistor is. It could be any of the resistors in our circuit, or maybe it's listed for us on the circuit. Anyway, it's just gonna be um, a resistor that's either in series parallel or series parallel with other resistors potentially. And so we're interested in the voltage drop just across this one particular resistor. So we're gonna designate it our output resistor. K is a scale factor. And this is going to be a constant. It's determined by um, the way the resistors are configured in the circuit. Um, and then lastly, this Vn, this is going to be our source voltage. Okay, um, so now that we've kind of defined all the pieces, the goal here is for um, a given circuit, we want to be able to develop this equation. We want to be able to express V out as a function of V in. And then whatever this, whatever is being multiplied by the V in is going to be our scale factor. So um, an implication of this is that if we know our V out and if we divide it by V in, so if we find this ratio, that's going to give us our K scale factor. So it might be beneficial for us to be able to manipulate it um, in this direction as well, depending on what information we're asked for in the circuit. So let me show you an example um, how this works in a basic series circuit. So uh, suppose we have a DC voltage source, I'll call it Vn, and we have a resistor 1 here and a resistor 2, but I'll call it resistor out. Just so it's very clear that this is going to be our output resistor. It's just a resistor in the circuit, but I'm interested in the voltage drop across this R out. So this is going to be my designated V out. So I have it written like this as if you had um, two probes of a voltmeter that you just put right across this R out resistor. And then you read V out across this thing. Um, so since this is a series circuit, we know that the current is going to be the same everywhere, and it's just going to be um, how much current is supplied by this Vn depends on um, these resistance values. Um, so our goal here is we want to write an equation for V out in terms of Vn. We want to write V out in terms of V in. 
Okay, great. Um, so what do we know? We know by Ohm's law that Vn is equal to the I that comes out of Vn times R equivalent. Um, so this implies that this current coming around here is going to be Vn divided by R equivalent. Then um, V out, if we apply Ohm's law at this output resistor here, applying Ohm's law at R out gives us that V out is equal to the same I as here, because this is a series circuit, times R out. Okay, so um, if I take this thing and I substitute it into there, since that's the same current, that's going to give me, in place of I, I'm putting V in over R equivalent, and that gets multiplied by R out. So let me rearrange the terms here. I'm going to put the R's together in a fraction, so I have R out over R equivalent, and that's getting multiplied by V in. Um, this might look familiar to you because we actually did this when we talked about the voltage divider. So um, we've seen this already. Here's our equation. This is V out as a function of V in. And this stuff right here that's being multiplied by, by V in, this is our scale factor K. Okay, so don't write this as um, like a ground truth equation because this is only true for this particular circuit. In this case, our scale factor is determined by whatever this resistance is divided by our equivalent, so the sum of both of these. Okay, but this is going to be different every time. So um, you can see that this source voltage, right, this V in, gets scaled by K to give us V out. So that means that we can quickly find output voltage across the output resistor for any value of V in. So once we have this equation, um, this ratio is not going to change if we vary our source voltage. So whatever this is, we can vary this, let's say this is 10 volts, 15 volts, 20 volts, and then we can easily find what is going to be our voltage drop across this resistor here without having to solve this again every time. Okay, so we're basically making a formula for ourselves and then we get to apply it for various values of V in. And that's the idea. That's how we use um, linearity for a voltage source. So um, in the next video, I'll show you a couple examples with numerical values so you can see how this works and another way that we can use this to our advantage.